Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Aquatica. By the way, my name is JB and I would like to meet my Sila and friends together with the trainers one at a time. On your website is the eldest female South American Sila that we have here. And according to our Twitter, she is the pretty yes. Oh, okay then. Her name is Isis. Together with my name David, say hi! What on the other side is the youngest female South American sea lion that we have here. And according to our trainer, she is the cutest. Oh, don't be shy girl. Her name is Ira. Together with my name Sean, say hello! Now let's continue. So guys, do you have any idea why they are called pink or red with my mamas? Any idea? Do they have feathers? Well, let's ask them. Hey ladies, do you have feathers? Well, the answer is no. It's actually because of their front flippers, which are shaped like a bird's wing. See those? The term in events may also be translated as swim footed since their flippers do look somewhat like wings. In fact, they are meant to fly underwater as they swim from place to place. Right? Right, ladies? And you know, they often mistaken like a seal because they look very much alike. But some differences between a seal and a sea lion is the fact that they have bigger from flippers. And they also turn their back flippers, something seals cannot do. As a result, they can walk around while on land. It's a fine demonstration of our love for Sina fans. And you know what guys? They have this long and flexible neck. More flexible is what they need to have. So flexible, right? How about another round of love for Sina fans? As you can see, their body is covered with a thin coat of short coarse hair. And the whiskers help the sea lion sense of touch. They contain nerve fibers which make them sensitive. What a nice smile! Hey! And they may also use their whiskers to aid in navigation or to detect vibration from prey in the water. And their small external ears give them a good sense of hearing, both above and below the water surface. Sea lions like any marine mammals can see what both above and under water. They have a key nine sight but no color vision. In the wild, they inhabit water's coastal shores, black white lips with typhoons, and they have a preference for rocky beaches. They have excellent climbing abilities, which can easily scale rocky plants. Oh, check it out! Very strong prop flippers. <laughs> and now let's talk about their swimming abilities, and let's start with Ira, the cutest. Sea lions generally cruise up around 11 miles per hour using the rowing movement of their front flippers. While their back flippers are stretched shall behind their bodies, functioning as rudders for steering. And that's their normal swing. Nice and easy. Thank you so much, Iron Painter Sean. But when chasing their prey or escaping from predators, they can achieve a first speed up to. Ready, Isis? 25 miles per hour! And that is really a fast win! How about the round of applause for Isis? The pretty, yes! Great job, Isis! Back to your seat! Ooh, nice slide! And another one! She deserves it! Now, here's an interesting story about our sea lion. Did you know that the U.S. Navy has trained a few of them to take part in special operation? Yeah, that's right. They are able to hold their breath for up to 20 minutes and they can dive hundreds of feet. Abilities that even the best Navy divers would be envious of. And since cannot be detected by radar underwater, they are taught to recognize and avoid underwater mines. Alright ladies, are you ready? Now, this time guys, 
Could you please join our Sinai Prince in a salute? And the count of three, everybody please salute and make this one loud. Alright guys, are you ready? Hey, people in the crowd, I can't hear you. Are you ready? Well, sea lions are also used to search and recover equipment from the water. Let's do our one first plan. All right, the first winners, we have the rings. All right, ladies, get those rings. And they got it. How about round of applause for sea lion friends? Great job, ladies. You got your bling bling. And they asking for it. After the rings, what next winners? We have the bows. So how do you think they get the bows? It's safe. You know what, guys? Here in Manila Ocean Park, we have quite some American silver uh, lion. Yes, yes, Trader right Show. I was stopping you. What does she want? Fish. Give her some. May I continue? All right, thank you. So I was saying, here in Manila Ocean Park, we have quite some American silver lion. Yes, yes. Yes, Trader right Show. Sean, I was stopping you again. Maybe she wants to say something. All right, tell the trainer, Sean. In what did you say? Oh, we are not yet done in one. Oh, there's one more missing object. Are you sure about Iron? <laughs> Pretty sure, huh? And how about you, my sister? One more? No more? Nyay. <laughs> All right, to prepare our last day audience. Hey, guys, folks. Stir one more missing object. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean ice is so sad? Hey, Ayla, cut that out, that's bad. No. Alright, if there's really one you're missing out there, could you please tell Isis what that is? It's a... Akala ko meron. It's a... A gun! Either right, Ayla. Well, I think it's time, uh, it's time for us to answer for the missing toy gun. Let's go! Dog. Find the missing toy gun. Be sure if possible. Oh, is it there, ladies? Nothing. Oh, keep on searching. Hey, is it searching? Oh, 
In another one to ISIS, Jera Rutgers, Jera of ISIS. <laughs> now we'll come to the part of the show where one of you will be able to meet ISIS up close. So if you are willing to volunteer, all you have to do is raise your right hand and my co trainers will pick one. While waiting for our lucky guests, in case you'd like to know, here in Manila Ocean Park, we have five South American sea lions, consisting of four females and only one male. They came all the way from Chile, South America, and arrived here last July 4, 2009. Scientific name, Sotaria Placer, meaning little bear plants. Alright, Miss Mikey, kindly, kindly assist our lucky guests for today. Let's go now. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Good afternoon. What's your name, Mom? How about a round of applause for our lucky guest, Miss Camille. All right, Mom. Make your way to trainer David in ISIS. I have a question for you. Is it your first time to meeting a sea lion up close? First time? Well, a flipper shake is always appropriate. Hold a flipper. Look at the camera and give us your best smile. Hey, I see it. I see it smile. There you go. All right, mom. Step aside. Okay, mom. I have a trailer for you. Did you know that they have 34 to 38 canine teeth? See those? This is special design or tearing their food. However, they don't chew it. They swallow it all just like that. And voila, it's gone. <laughs> Alright, how about more photos with Isis? On Isis' shoulder. Uh, smile the camera from Facebook profile. Alright, I think we're done. It's time to say goodbye now, Isis. Say goodbye now! Goodbye now, Isis! Hey, hey! Wait, no! Is there something else? Alright, let the trainer take it! Uh, I know that's mine! You know what, Mom? Before you leave, Isis would love to give you a goodbye! Is it a kiss, girl? Aha! I think it is! A lips, of course. A lips to lips with ISIS. Alright, huh? Mom. It's very simple, huh? Mom. Two hands in the back. Lean forward and offer your lips for three seconds. Alright, huh? Mom. For only three seconds. Alright, let me come. So, thank you. By the way, guys, we would like to invite all of you to the voting counter with our Sea friends at Marine Life Habitat. Where in your get a kiss, a flipper shake, or a walkie shot just like that. So, if you are interested, all you have to do is sign up for the friendly photographer right over there. We're in the new creature by the exit. Love this opportunity right after the show. Now, this time, would you love to see a dance number from our Sea Lion friends? Hey guys, where's the energy? Would you love to see them dance? Now, let go, guys, go.
here I want to go with the new former prince, the South American sea lions, ISIS in Iraq. And also that even after you leave, you will take the experience with you wherever you go. And remember that what we do here on land greatly affects our friends in the sea. Sea lions, like any marine animals, cannot survive in a terrestrial environment, so let's keep our surroundings clean. Aside from pollution, there are many other threats to their survival all over the world, such as climate change and illegal hunting. You can learn more about this inside the ocean areas. Always keep in mind that we are the seaward of the planet and thus, each one of us must do what we can to protect and conserve all inhabitants and Mother Earth, including ourselves. So in behalf of Taylor, David and Isis, Taylor Shaw in Iraq, and also here at Aquatica in Manila Ocean Park, we would like to thank everyone for visiting us today. We hope you will come back and visit us again soon. So thank you and have a nice day. Thank you for watching. And just a friendly reminders, especially those of the lower creatures, please remain your seat until the sea lines have left. Once again.